Seek adventure. Have fun. Test your knowledge. It's a new fast-paced game where the audience doesn't just watch the games, they become a part of them. Join Exploration Place and the KSN Weather Team and come test your knowledge about atmospheric phenomena, weather, and safety. You might just walk away with a prize. That's what's up with that? The Exploration Games, brought to you by Exploration Place and your friends at KSN. Hi, I'm your host, Chris Connor. Of course, everybody knows the man I'm standing next to, KSN's Chief Meteorologist, Dave Freeman. Thanks, Chris. I'm sure your audience members are a little curious as to why you're here in the KSN Weather Lab at Exploration Place instead of in the William T. Kemper Presentation Theater doing exploration games. Well, Dave, you and the other KSN meteorologists play a very important role in the show. You see, we are doing the exploration games, but there's something special about this show. Well, what's that? Well, all of the games and questions deal with weather and sound. Ah, two of my favorite things. Um, Dave, I am running a little behind right now. Would you mind explaining the rules of the game to the audience so I can make it over to the theater and do the show? No problem. Be great. Thanks, Dave. All right. Well, folks, in this version of Exploration Games, there are three rounds of questions with three questions per round, followed by an Exploration Games challenge. Now, listen closely to the questions. They'll give you a clue to what the challenge will be. And as Chris said, everything in the show has to do with weather. Of course, you can't have a game show without contestants. Chris will pick two teams, or as we call them, tribes, each consisting of three players and one chief. Each person that appears in the show will get one of these, an Exploration Games KSN Weather Lab water bottle holder. Now, if you're not picked to come up on stage, don't worry, we haven't left you out. The audience is split down the middle with the right side cheering on the red tribe and the left side rooting for the blue tribe. If your tribe wins one of the challenges, then someone from your side will get the chance to answer a musical bonus question. If you're picked and can name that song, you'll win a water bottle holder. After all of the questions and challenges have been played, the points will be tabulated, and the tribe with the most points wins the game, and all the members get to sign their name on the Tiki Trophy. Oh yeah, one more thing. If you ring in before the entire question and possible answers have been read, the other team automatically gets to answer the question first. So, let's have some fun and get ready to play Exploration Games Music and Sound Edition. Let's hear it for your host, Chris Connor. We'll tell you what's up with that. Meteorologist Mark Bogner. Mark, lightning. Yeah, lightning is just a big spark of static electricity. It either arcs from the cloud down to the ground, or it can go from the ground up to the cloud. Now, I want to make sure you all brought your lightning detectors today. Did everybody, let's see, there in the back. Yeah, you all brought your lightning detectors today. I'm glad to see that. Do you know what your lightning detectors are? Your ears. That's right. If you remember nothing else about today, I want you to remember this. If you can hear the thunder, you are close enough to be struck by lightning. Lightning is one of the most underestimated killers in all of nature. It kills more people every year than tornadoes. So I do want you to remember that if you're hearing that thunder, you should be getting inside because that's the good news about lightning. It's easy to be safe from. All you have to do is get inside a strong building. And that's What's, what's Up, up with, with That? that? We'll tell you what's up with that. I found meteorologist Dave Schaefer playing in the water. You know, I used to get in trouble doing this when I was a kid, but now it's part of my job. My question for you right now is, are you afraid of water? The answer is probably no, but sometimes you should be. You see, water can exert a lot of force. Just one cubic foot weighs 63 pounds. Even in the stream bed exhibit here, you can have several hundred pounds of water, and even in a small flood, several thousand pounds can flow by in just one second. That's why if it's you against the water, the water is usually going to win. The trouble starts when you have a lot of rain in one place in a short time, usually because of a slow moving thunderstorm. That runs off and you can get a lot of water in places that normally don't have it, like driveways, backyards, or neighborhood streets, making flash flooding the number one severe weather killer. A simple rule to stay safe, never walk or drive through flooded areas. And that's What's, what's up, up With, with That? that? We'll tell you what's up with that. Meteorologist Rodney Price has his own tornado. And Dave, for our tornado to form, we need three things. One of them is moisture. And we have that at the bottom of the simulator with a cool mist that you see at the bottom. Now, to take that moisture in the air, the air has to rise and produce clouds. And we have that with the fan that's at the top. And our third ingredient 
is the winds. They need to be rotating, and that's produced by the side vents that we have right here, helping to concentrate the moisture, the lift, and the rotation to produce our tornado that we have right here. Now, if you find yourself in a tornado warning, here's what you need to do. You need to go to the basement. Now, if you don't have a basement, you need to find yourself in the center of the house on the lowest floor and put as many walls as you can between yourself and the tornado and to cover your head to protect yourself from flying debris. And Dave, that's what's, what's up, up with that. that.